All right, guys, it's Jason. I hope you're doing well. Let's move over to pitching now, okay? I've done all the top five infielders by position, all the top five outfielders by position, top five DH, top five catchers in Major League Baseball heading into 2020. If you haven't seen those videos, I'm going to put a couple down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see them, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see the next videos after this one, I'm going to go over relief pitchers, and then I'll continue to do more videos. Um, hit that notification next to it. So I want to make sure that you don't miss any good videos. If you're a baseball fan, this channel is for you. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button and notification button. Okay. So you're not going to want to miss some good videos. And again, this is made for by a regular dude, by a baseball fan, for the baseball fan. All right. And I welcome all comments and dialogues down below. We have a little bit of a community that we're, we're, we're kind of a part of here, and I want to continue growing that. So with that said, Let's get to the top five starting pitchers in Major League Baseball. I actually have a tie for five and four. So we're going to be going over seven pitchers. And tie tie for fifth might surprise you, okay? I have my list right here. One of them might surprise you. Um, okay. And my top, my actually, this is going to be eight, not seven. Crazily enough. Shane Bieber and Mike Clevenger from the Cleveland Indians. And Lance Lynn. Yes, Lance Lynn from the Texas Rangers. Look at the guy's stats, okay? The reason why I write them down here instead of just showing some obscure highlight is so that you can actually look them up and see. Lance Lynn's been a consistent performer for quite a few years now, and he's been kind of a bulldog, just anchoring some rotations as the number five or the number four guy, sometimes the number three guy. But he's been the guy that's been out there putting out 180 to 200 innings and putting them in a position to win, winning 14, 16 games or whatever, striking close to 200 guys out. So he's consistent, and that's one reason he's on my list. Clevenger... Bieber, they're, they're kind of to me budding aces, okay? And it's really hard to penetrate the top five stars in Major League Baseball. And I'm only doing five instead of ten so that I can keep these videos short and sweet so that you can watch the other videos of all the other positions should you want to do that and not have to take an entire day to do so. These videos are like five to seven minutes long, okay? So you can watch them during a commercial break uh, or a short break during the day or while you're sitting on the bus or on the train or whatever or at home. Um, they're short and sweet so that you can watch a whole bunch of them if you want to watch a bunch of them. So, three-way tie for number five. Here's a two-way tie for number four, okay? Now we're starting to get into the bigger names, all right? And <clears throat> Steven Strasburg of the defending world champion nationals, Washington Nationals, and Charlie Martin of the former world champ Houston Astros and the um, current Tampa Bay Rays perennial playoff team as well. Another consistent performer who's who we, and he's been clutch in the postseason so and again he's one of these guys that comes out there puts a low ERA throws innings okay puts you in a position to win on a regular basis he's one of these underrated players especially because he's on an underrated team like the Tampa Bay Rays and this guy's on an underrated team like the Texas Rangers both of which have made improvements this offseason um, they generally don't pop up on everybody's list like Steven Strasburg does because he's pitching with Max Scherzer so it's kind of who are you pairing him with you can, Blake Snell, obviously a former Cy Young Award winner, but Strasburg and, and Max Scherzer, that's a, I mean, that's a dynamic duo. So, but nevertheless, Charlie Morton is a tie, from my opinion, with Steven Strasburg. He's been more consistent than Strasburg, even though Strasburg had a kind of an outer-worldly playoff this past season. And a $245 you know, million contract doesn't make him 30 times better than Charlie Morton, in my opinion. They're, to me, they're tied for number four. And again, if you're number four, that's pretty damn good. Okay, pretty damn good. All right, now, number three, I mean, Justin Verlander. To me, he's the modern-day Nolan Ryan. He's an older player, and he's still dominating. He's still a power pitcher approaching 40, and that's what Ryan did. He was a power pitcher, just like Randy Johnson, power pitcher in their 40s, late 40s, mid-40s. This guy can probably do the same thing. Um, and again, this is 2019 Cy Young Award winner, okay? He, to me, I mean, he's got multiple no-hitters. I think he's thrown three no-hitters, and uh, he's got a ring with the Astros. Um, he's still my number three. Yeah, he's still, he's still the number three on my list. Okay, Number two, I have another tie, actually. I just realized that. And this, this is where it gets down to the really nitty-gritty here. 
Um, it's, it's, it's really hard to me. This tie, as well as number one, can I, you, you, they can all be interchangeable. The ties, Max Scherzer and Garrett Cole. Okay. Max Scherzer, multiple Cy Young Award winner as well, dominant pitcher. He's got his ring now with the Nationals, Garrett Coles with the Houston Astros, now with the Yankees. He had an outer worldly year last year, um, and he's kind of on the uptrend from being a really dominant pitcher. But I, me personally, the reason why uh, he's not number one is because I want to see him repeat that consistently. Right? He doesn't necessarily have to strike out 320 guys again, win 20 and 5 again. But if you put yourself in, you know, in number one starter category, couple years in a row, like the number one has, I, I can easily see him being number one. And Scherzer is kind of a, a little bit older. He's having some injury problems now, so but he's still dominant, so he's still got to be up there. But the number one, I mean, it's really kind of hard to dispute. Jacob deGrom from the New York Mets. Um, he's won the last two Cy Young Award winner, Cy Young Awards. And look at his stats. I mean, he's a good hitter, too. <laughs> some of these guys sure is some of these guys are good hitters that are in the National League, but DeGrom is one of the last two Cy Young Award winners. Crazy high strikeouts, even though the wins weren't the numbers weren't as gaudy last year. Look at his ERA. He's been absolutely dominant. So um <clears throat> but again, these three I can easily see interchangeable. I could see Verlander number two. I could see you can rotate those guys on any given day. They're all dominant. Strasbourg is I think just a step below, and so is Morton just a step below that. Uh, and these guys are just right on the verge of kind of, at least these two guys. These Lynn's a little bit older, but again, still great players. So let me know what you think of this list. If you have a list of your own, if you think the order should be differently, put them down below. If you enjoyed this, click that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Talk to you guys next time. Thanks always.